Hey everybody, Big Shot Joe here, along with Kevin Bill. This is three, two, one screws. Welcome, throw down. Welcome, welcome. Three, two, one screws. To Fantasy Island. Three, two, one screws. Throw oh, that's down. Right. That's right. That's right. It's not Fantasy Island. I forgot. Three, two, one. Throw down for the fifth time. All right. Now. Yes. Yes. Lots been going on in the wrestling world as of late, sir. That it has. Don't forget, it is WrestleMania season, so that the road is. to WrestleMania is one of the biggest times of the year for WWE, and probably the most exciting time of the year for them. Oh, yeah. We have Elimination Chamber coming up. Yep, and that's going to be pretty much the uh, pivotal point where you're going to know what the matches are yeah. for Mania after that night. You're pretty much going to know. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of developments came from the, you know, Super Showdown, too. Oh, yeah. Big time. You know. Big time. Unique uh, Of course, uh, as we all know, with SmackDown last week uh, starts off with Goldberg coming out. With a bang. And it, what was kind of odd is, is, you know, Goldberg is... Pretty much, for the most part, Goldberg has been a face his entire career. Without you know, a doubt. He's always, Without a doubt. He's always cheered. You know, he they had out. that little fail attempt in yeah, WCW I know, I know we talked about. But, that but yeah, that's yeah. true, man. I don't, I don't count that. An attempt that lasted about the length of a ham sandwich. Or a cup of coffee, as they would say yeah. in the wrestling business. Right. Um, so, you know, they, he's always been cheered when he come out, but... yeah. Goldberg, he came Goldberg out to was the some fan. Boos. I mean, there were he was were the still, guy. There were still, you know, cheers for him, but yeah, you could clearly hear some boos also. Oh yeah, um, because he took the belt from the fiend, you know. People but he, he really, fed into it. People are, are he fed into the they're boos. They're all bent out of shape about it. Because did you, you see know? how he was talking? He was talking heelish. Goldberg had, in my opinion, some heelish. Tendencies. Yeah. I'm just know. saying. He he, he kind of he says you know it's not about who was last it's about who's next. Of course yeah. you know. Yeah. And yeah. Of course cue the Roman Reigns. This music. was the coolest thing because I don't think anybody's ever said that to Goldberg. No, not that I can recall. That I mean. was badass. So not not in that way. But yeah, Roman Reigns comes out, gets in the ring, gets right up. They get face to face. Here it comes. Goes. He just lifts up the mic and says, "I'm next." I'm next. Drop the mic. Mic drop. There you go. That's it. That match is set. And now Joe and Noah, I mean Roman Reigns, and Goldberg. And Goldberg. It's old Spear versus Young Spear. Old line against new line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I know, you know, people were kind of saying, well, I thought there was supposed to be, you know, a men's elimination chamber match to determine the number one contender, you know, who was going to go on to face the Universal you Champion. You know, whoever. No, it, no, because that's been decided already. It's Drew right. McIntyre. It was going to be for... Oh, no, no, no. You're, I'm sorry. I meant the Universal title, not WWE Championship. You said Drew McIntyre. Oh, that's right. Brock does have yeah. the, the WWE. I, yeah, so I used to Brock having the Brock having the internet, the Universal title for so for long. a very, very, very so, yeah, the Universal very, title. I'm sorry, very long um, time. Yeah, they were, it was supposed to be that. Yes. But so, as we'll discuss also on SmackDown, we find out that now that Elimination Chamber match instead of for the men is going to oh, see who's going to yeah. be the number one contender. It's going to be. It's now going to be for the WWE Tag uh, Smackdown, Smackdown Tag Team Tag Championships. Team Championships. Yes. Right on, bro. Yeah. You still got it. You so, got it. Miz and Morrison are going to be in an Elimination Chamber match. For their first title defense as Tag Defending Champs. Defending against the following teams. Tag Team Champs again. The Usos. Lucha House Party. New Day. And the name that Bill coined for it, Riggler, which is... Dolph Ziggler, Robert Roode. Which, I mean, dude, guys, and we will give machinery. you that. Take it. We won't even charge you for it. And Heavy Machinery. Heavy Machinery. I dig me some Otis, man. So, that's going to be... <laughs> 
That's going to be the, now the Elimination Chamber match. I hope Tucker and Otis win. <laughs> that or... You know what? I in that It would match, be cool, but of, of the teams that are in there, I yeah. see it as a long shot. But that match... You're just talking about Ziggler, Rude, the Usos. Right. No, I, dude. Uh, it, Miz and Morrison. Dude, and the Usos are probably the most... Besides Miz and Morrison, like as far as the chemistry and stuff, the Usos... They're one of the, yeah, one hey, of the veteran tag teams, you know. For, the only the only team that is WWE. probably least likely that's going to win those tag titles in that matchup is Lucha House Party. Yeah, I'd be very surprised if they didn't. And then next is it. It would sadly, I feel Rayward. it's going to be no heavy machinery. That's not going to win. Yeah. I think. What if the odds are it? higher for Ruder Ziggler? You know, um, dude, if Riggler wins it and then they feud with Miz and Morrison, Usos, be good. If who? Riggler and Rude, or Riggler? Yeah. Becomes a rivalry with Miz and Morrison. Well, the only problem with that is they're both heels. heels. I know, I know, and I know that you did, but dude, it's easy. Right off the bat, you got to figure. Yeah, but that's gonna cancel them out. Out of a storyline, though, sometimes they just do the switch. The old yeah. switch and bait, you know, they, they, like, you know, there's matches where you become a face in a match, you know. But they I mean? couldn't, they couldn't put Ziggler and Root over as a face because Ziggler's too hated right now because of, uh, yeah, you'd be messing with me. The, uh, Rose, interfering bro. with, uh, Otis's love life. I mean, dude, you know what? I mean, like, you couldn't just let him have it, Dolph. Poor yeah. Otis. I mean, I don't blame you, Dolph, but. Poor like, Otis. Come on, man. You gotta, you know. You gotta slow it down a little bit, all right? Poor Otis, man. I'm gonna give him a call later. See how he's doing. No, you're rolled, you brony. And shut your mouth. So, oh, sorry. I'm talking to Ziggler. I'm talking to Ziggler, not, not Otis. I just, I, yes, exactly. I just went back to the attitude era for a minute. Anyways, so. So yeah. So um. You know, so we so, got Goldberg and Roman. Yeah. That, that happened. That's gonna happen. That was an be. intense hot start for the show. And, you know, yeah. me personally, man, I, I'd i like to see that match. I Which think one? it would be in Roman Reigns and Goldberg. I do th I do see Roman going over. Uh, yeah, Roman's going to Roman's going to take the belt. Goldberg goes away for a while. Yeah. Good times. Well, I heard that uh, McMahon has plans for Goldberg past WrestleMania. Oh, I'm so. sure. I mean, they got, you know, those Super Showdown events and the Crown Jewel and... Um, I don't know if they're ever gonna do a world's greatest world's greatest Royal Rumble pay per view again. No, Remember they did that? They yeah. Braun Strowman won. That was weird. I don't know why, but so, they did. What else? Uh, what else we have on SmackDown? Well, here's one that you know, uh, Otis. Of course, we just talked about. Still heartbroken. Um, Tucker suggests that forget Mandy Rose. The next girl we're gonna find for you. Is going to be out of the WWE universe. That means Otis is looking for one special lady. That's a fan. Could be you. Let's all vote for Joey. Fingers. Anywho, Joey and Otis sitting in the tree. Okay, I guess I shut your mouth, your brony. <laughs> now go get the rock some coffee. I'm telling you, I'm having flashbacks to the freaking Attitude Era, man. This is crazy. It's going to get your ass in trouble. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Woo! So, uh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, so what else we got? Smackdown. Let's see. What else we got there <laughs> on our list of topics? Uh, well, we were talking the tag teams. We had Miz and Morrison in a non-title match to, uh, fighting the Usos. Usos pick up the win. Pin them clean. Pin them clean. Now they technically, they have a pinfall over the champs, which, you know, you got to think when WWE does that, they want to make certain teams look good going into a big matchup. Oh, yeah. So the Usos, it could very well be the Usos winning. I, you know, I between, it's either going to be New Day, Usos, or Miz and Morrison. That's what I'm going with. I'm counting regular out. I don't think they're yeah, going to win. I mean, really, I mean, I'm with you. Um, 
It's going to be those for heavy three. machinery. Because those are their top teams. Oh, I am too. I would love to see heavy machinery. And that would be an awesome way for them to do and it. I think that's the fan favorite choice, to be honest with you. He is, man. And I'll tell you what, Vince. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to stop saying that because I hate saying that. It's not Vince. Okay. It's a whole company. It's a bunch of writers. It's a bunch of. So I can't just say it's all Vince. Vince gives the final say. But anywho, that's to my point. Characters like Otis, they they get a pop. It's like kind of like what they did with Tajiri with Tori yeah. Wilson, you know, or Scotty Too Hotty. He had that dancing gimmick, that silliness. Santino Morella, you know. Um, Otis is a. There is a comedy element there, yeah. you know, and I enjoy it. I just Definitely. I just want to make. I hope he gets like a good push with it. Mm-hmm. He's a fan favorite. No offense, Tucker, yeah. but Otis is... The oh! Man. We finally got to see what was in Rowan's cage. Rowan's cage. Well, that was on Raw. Oh, that's right. That was Raw. He what is jump-ahead Joe down. today, man. What the... Woo! I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. You're fired! A little, a little teaser there. A little teaser. Now you know we're going to talk about Sorry, that guys. in a few minutes. I don't know what's going on. It, no, I, it was the uh, did, that's what I what I keep that going was back. The other thing I was the Daniel Bryan Curtis Axel. That's the attitude here. Yes, we are going to talk about Curtis Axel. Daniel, Daniel Bryan, Bryan Curtis Axel match. Curtis Axel, you know, he, did he come out? He, to he, his, he a few his near falls. He had a few near falls. No, you know, no uh, social outcast. No, you know. But who's who's like there was somebody with him? Drew Gulak. Yes. Was, Coaching him, trying to help coaching him. This could be Curtis's way back into yeah, he gave some a good, relevancy. He gave a good show I mean, against Brian. Oh, dude. But, I, uh, Brian, he, of course, you know, in the end made him tap. Put it like this. How good chemistry people have with Curtis Axel. When The Rock made his comeback against Cena and all that, and Curtis Axel was off TV. The Rock warmed up with him. Like, the, he's a good worker. Yeah. To wrestle, he you know they train with him and stuff. You know, it, I thought that was pretty cool. I'm saying maybe he was just doing that for a long time. Who knows? You know, I was just giving a little insight. He certainly wasn't being on TV. Give me a hell yeah! And moving on. And moving on. <laughs> so yeah, Brian picks up the win with a you know submission, makes a tap. With the uh, LaBelle lock, right? Yeah, something like that. I yeah. said it Corey right. grabs him up by the face. So, yeah. Um, but uh, le- before we get into the end of the show of SmackDown, let's just make some mentions about, why don't you take that one, sir? Oh, next week on SmackDown. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the don't N- you know. NWO is going to be special guest on A Moment of Bliss, the uh, Alexa Bliss little talk show, so... You don't want to check that out. Do you think they'll make Bliss an honorary member? For Who knows? Place? Who knows? Scott Hall, though, yeah. man. Scott Hall better got to keep his hands to himself, man. I'm telling you, man. Buddy he, Murphy. He's going to get in trouble. Buddy Murphy get mad. Yeah. Yeah, that's who's with uh, Alexa Bliss. Scott could take him. Buddy Murphy. Yeah. I think I think Hall could take him. That's all. That's because Kevin Nash is going to come with a freaking taser and... <laughs> Like he did Goldberg, man. Only Scott. Anyways. So, also, too, ex- expect a new... Firefly Funhouse, yeah. Absolutely. They were saying it's going to happen, so let it happen. All right. Why don't you take this one, sir? Because I know you love this one. Which one we got? Hold on. Here? He's got to get the specs on. The specs on. Got to see what's going on. Absolutely. Oh, we didn't mention the... Uh, uh, Sasha Banks made her return also. Oh, yeah. We Teamed messed up with up. Bailey. Uh, and we took on Naomi and Lacey. Too. Yep. Naomi um, and Lacey got the victory. Yes, they did. But Yes, they did. So, And uh, we also had the Braun Strowman, you know, contract signing, whatever, basically. He's going to be taking on an Elimination Chamber, a three-on-one match against... Uh, Cesaro, Shinsuke, and Sami Zayn. It's true. It's damn true. So, uh, I don't know if that's for the title or not, to be honest with you. 
Which one? That three on one match. I don't think it's for the title. I think it is actually. Hmm. For the pay per view? Yeah. The one coming I, up? I, yeah. I, I gotta check into that. That's it is. A, that's that's for a while. Because if they it's win. It's worth a Google. If they win, Let's, if they win, win who gets the title? Is it we can't Nakamura, get Cesaro, That's or Sami Zayn? But which they've done of, matches like that. Which one of them is the Intercontinental Champion? Okay. Braun Strowman match at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Let's see what Google's got to say. Elimination Chamber 2020 will be on Sunday, March 8th, 2020 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Alrighty then. I know where I'll be. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> oh, a prostate. <laughs> okay, well, I can't find it right now, but... Yeah, we're not sure. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll I don't want to waste know. more of your we'll time. Let you know. Let's we'll let you know. know in the comments. So, you know, yeah. Cause we got you guys know. The most... The biggest, the biggest uh, moment, the biggest pop of the night. Of the night. Of course. Was, oh, wait. Uh, Robert Roode beat Kofi Kingston by pinfall. Okay, there we go. Go ahead, sir. Sorry, I had to throw that up, in there. Yep, Bobby Roode. Dude, did you hear that? Well, I did, I did. So, uh, you know, John Cena comes out. And, uh, well... Actually, you know what, Joey? What? I'm going to let you tell this one. All right. Tell them what happened. You got Cena. It. John out. Cena comes out. John Cena, you know, it was I'll already... right back. It was already announced that John Cena was already going to come out uh, for this week's SmackDown. Comes out, and then John Cena ends up saying that he doesn't want to take a spot at Mania. He wants to give it to somebody else, somebody that's been around all year long. So, so um, him doing that makes me think, you know, okay, so is he just saying he's going to leave and retire soon? Because, you know, does he not need the WrestleMania? Which really, he, he probably doesn't, but it's still WrestleMania. you got to have Cena. In some way, form, or fashion. Um, so John Cena is pretty much saluting the crowd as he's leaving. You know, he's just walking up the stage. He's ready to leave. They play his music. And then <coughs> he's... The lights start to go out. Well, yeah, but he's first doing this, doing you know. Salute. He's doing the salute. Way. Yeah, it builds back. So um, There was a knock at the door. There was. Had to answer. Yep, yep. So anyway, so Salute in the crowd, and then all of a sudden you hear lights go out, lights come back on. John Cena's staring towards the ring at the time, right? Yep. Slowly and turns back and looks over his shoulder to the fiend standing at the uh, entrance of the ramp. And I just want to paint a picture before we explain this part. <clears throat> there was one time where it was. Undertaker and Triple H in a ring. Undertaker came out first, then Triple H came out. And they they didn't have to say a word. And they just did the stare down. Yeah, and they basically and then they announced a WrestleMania match without well, a word. Look at that story. WrestleMania sign. Every wrestling fan knows what I'm talking about. They got that moment. They didn't you point. Know. They just looked at it. But I'm just saying, like I'm saying in that direction. Right, right. But yeah, all they that did was, exactly was look. Yeah, that was, I believe it was Undertaker who looked first. Yep. He looked up he at the sure WrestleMania did. sign. He sure and did. Triple H looked up at the WrestleMania sign. And then they looked back at each that, other. That was a cool first Stared moment. for a second. And then they turned and walked away. That was another. that was a cool And that pretty moment. much said, yeah, there was going to be a WrestleMania match between us. That, that That's sort of what happened good. on SmackDown. The uh, only difference is, is Fiend comes out. Fiend's standing there. Just arms down the side. Just standing there staring at Cena. Seeing his turn, just staring down at him. The fiend never takes his, never, never turns, looks away from Cena. Nope. Still staring at him, but he just reaches up with one arm and, and just points at that WrestleMania, at the WrestleMania sign. sign. And 
John Cena, Cena turns Cena and, and looks at it and gave him a nod. Yeah, give him the nod and then gave him the old, you can't see me. And the fiend's like, wait and till you meet my friends in the Firefly Funhouse. And then that's it. There's no, he didn't say anything. <laughs> no, but you knew he was thinking it. But that, I mean, it was just it. He points at the sign. You can't see me. There we go. All now right. match made. And that's that's it's gonna happen. I'm looking. That's how to that it. went down. But there's history of that. Yeah, there is because uh, John Cena took Bray, Bray Wyatt. Wyatt's WrestleMania moment from him. Yep. By beating him and in that WrestleMania match. Bray's gonna get it. I he's call gonna it now. The, he's gonna write the wrong. Bray's winning. Bray. Oh, absolutely, Bray's Bray. Gonna win, John Cena is not going to be the guy to beat the Fiend. No, it's not going to happen. No, and Cena. Well, Goldberg already did it. Goldberg Cena, already did Cena, it. I keep Cena's going to put him over. Cena is going to put him over. Yeah, Cena's going to put him over. I mean, like I said, dude, WWE's trying new things, dude. Yeah. What if they so. made him the face in a different way? Yeah. Who knows? I mean, it's like Austin. Austin was a bad guy. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. All right, we, but let's, we'll see. let's for another show, Raw. another let's show. Move on to let's Raw. move on to Monday Night Raw. We're spending too much time on SmackDown. The starting, I believe, was Drew McIntyre and Brock Lesnar. Yeah, it started out with Brock Lesnar coming out. Right. Paul Heyman running yeah, yeah. Him out. Doing another, cut a little promo. Yeah, and then we had McIntyre come out to answer. Claymore kicks Brock. In the ring, just once, and then right? leaves it, once in the ring, oh, and then leaves, isn't it? And then Brock Brock sells the hell out of the Claymore kick too, as and he, he should. gets up to the top of the ramp where Drew comes out and Claymore kicks him not once more but twice more. Boom! boom. Brock didn't get his any message is sent, sealed and delivered. Mr. Lesnar, Drew McIntyre being the business. I think he did it four times. So, and there might have been a fourth. I don't know. I, I, might, know I don't at least know. Three. So, All I know is he messed him up. Oh yeah. Goal, but you could tell. I could tell. Brock Lesnar. I think Brock Lesnar is going to have fun with this. Yeah. Like no, no, behind the scenes, yeah. you know, so, fun. Not. It's going to be good. I look forward. I'm looking forward to that match. I too. am too, and I I hope. Here's how I say it. What if the Fiend retires, John Cena? Right. Okay. Fiend retires John Cena, then it'll be the main event. If <coughs> it's not the main event, then I think John Cena won't retire from it. But I just wanted to throw that in there. But for Raw, uh, this may very well be the last match we see John Cena take part in. You so, think so? Yeah. yeah. Movie career skyrocketing now. You know, he might make an appearance here and there, but as far as being in a match, you know, the only, thing, the only reason he's going to be in this one is because he lives in Tampa. Well, let's just let's just get the let's so, just you know those real we got specific the, order. We got new champs. Yeah, the new the smack, uh, street uh, profits. Raw tag team champs, street profits beat Rollins and Murphy. Yep, took the titles. Yes, they did. With the assist of Kevin Owens, given the KO stunner. Mm-hmm. That's right. So, I like the Street Profits. I, They're I, good. They're I, entertaining. I like, yeah, they Indeed. are. I find them entertaining. Indeed. I, I, I think they can be enjoyable as a tag team. You know? I think I think them versus the Usos would be cool. Yeah. But they're both cool. faces right now, so. Right. We'll have to see. And then, of course, um... The decline of Ricochet continued in a straight-up one-on-one match for the 24-7 title against the current champ, Riddick Moss. They're starting to schedule those matches now. Riddick Moss defeats Ricochet. Yes, I mean, who's Riddick Moss? Ricochet, really, this guy, you know, this guy just... You know, it was just wrestling for the title. You know, it just maybe maybe he's really. I mean, he maybe squashed, they're trying to make this guy. I ever heard rumor that they are wanting to continue this losing streak through WrestleMania, and then after WrestleMania, kind of repackage him as, as a darker kind of character. You know, um, a heel like, and then put him. 
on a winning streak than as the yeah. heel. So, no, I got gotcha. you. That could be the case. We shall see. But <clears throat> I find it interesting too that they're starting to book the twenty four seven match. You know, title that's what I'm saying. In when I said the fashion. schedule, yeah, that's that's what I mean by scheduling. When they're booking it, it's. I think they're trying to add more prestige to it now. They're gonna have to change the title for twenty four seven though, because it's not technically twenty four seven. Then they should do honestly. I think they should have just made it a television championship. Yeah, you know there was one in WCW. There they was could one rename in it as the television championship. I, I would be. So. I would be for that. Tell us what you think. Leave, leave, a, leave a comment. The WWE television championship. Do you think they champion. should change the twenty four seven title? To the ECW had the, one. The WWE WCW had title. one, right? WCW had it's one. It's defended on TV every week. Yeah, man. Why not? You know, every week, or at least at least twice a month. Every other week. That's it. Well, right. you know, just food for thought. All right. So, Alistair Black beats Carl Anderson oh, yeah. the, and Gallows. Some crazy handicap stuff. Yeah, he beats he beats Gallows and Anderson. But then, but then AJ takes him out. So. Takes him out and beats him. Yeah, and and not and, <laughs> AJ when when AJ pinned him, he of course he, uh, in mocking fashion he did it the Undertaker style, you know, putting Black's hands. And he on did him. the tongue out. You know, yeah, you know, over yeah with the tongue out and the head back. I'm stoked to see that match. It's yeah we're we're gonna be doing a uh, uh, after elimination chamber we will do a, a a WrestleMania preview show we're gonna talk about it so How about we'll look for that dream coming. WrestleMania yeah idea. yeah well, that'll be a that'll be a three two one special edition yeah right on we're gonna put book our dream manias that's it but anywho that's for another time. Uh, you also had Baszler versus Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane, yeah. which Baszler one half won. of the Kabuki Warriors. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you had a tag team match between Rey Mysterio and Carrillo. Well, before that, that was that was the main event match. Actually, before that, we had Liv Morgan versus oh, Ruby yeah. Riot with uh, Sarah, Sarah Logan as the special, special guest referee. referee. And then and Morgan Morgan beats Ruby Riot. And then Logan and, uh, attacks. And then Logan Morgan. attacks Liv. Because as we know, Ruby, Liv, and Sarah are three of the people competing in the Elimination Chamber. So I think Sarah Logan was just letting them know, hey, just so you know, <laughs> it's every chick for themselves in this I'm a little Elimination let, Chamber. I'm a little let down about Raw. And then, of course, uh, I was disappointed that Rowan's... Yeah, yeah, with the big reveal. The Rowan reveal. I thought he was going to pull, like, a human head out or something, man. Like, I'm just, no. I'm just kidding. No, instead, it is a... Gigantic-ass spider. Tarantula, whatever it so is. So, I... I don't think it's real, man. I don't think that's real. It's... No. It's freakishly large. I think if um, there was a spider that size, they would kill it. <laughs> uh, I mean, that spider's big enough that you swing an axe at it, dude. It may, oh, it may catch it. I mean, try to counter it. Sasa! 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 And I'm Go sick on. of it. Coach Hines on you. <laughs> the blind come to the master. To the master. Yeah. So, no, All right. Um, but yeah, it's a gigantic ass spider. It, it, it was really when I say huge, I mean because Rowan's a big, he's a big guy, and he's holding it, and it just looks gigantic. And hey, look like he was holding a little puppy or something. That's that part, so, that's that and of course, that's when we had. And then the main event was Rey Mysterio and Umberto Carrillo versus taking on Andrade and Angel Garza, Garza. and. Uh, Garza was it was an entertaining going. match, as you would imagine, with guys like Gar yeah, Angel Garza and Andrade and <coughs> Carrillo. And, you know, really, Ray still got it, man. Just oh, dude, Ray. Great match. And uh, Ray, Ray, Mysterio Ray and Carrillo uh, pulled out the victory. Honest to God, I'm going to say this right now. Ray Mysterio is probably in my top ten greatest wrestlers of all yeah. time. 
Sorry, yeah, but he, he is. He's he is the right. ultimate little big man. So he is. And then, of course, there's the moment of the night on Raw that everyone's talking about. <gasps> he touched my woman. Beth Phoenix. Nah, I'm just kidding. Out in the ring. Love you, honey. And then Randy Orton comes out. Uh huh. And they have the confrontation. And Orton gives this whole heartfelt yeah. reason, explanation as to why he did what he did. Because, you know, what he loves he Edge like a brother. And, uh, you know, he loves their kids, you know. You're talking about the, the whole RKO thing and you know, that chair and, shot. And, and, you know, he, he worries he doesn't want him to get hurt and, you know. Not be able to, you know, play with his kids and do all this stuff. And he says, and when I saw at the Rumble, when I, I saw the look on his face, and I knew that he thought that he was back and that he could do this, and I just didn't want that because I didn't want, you know, I, I I don't want to see him hurt. I want him to be able to, be you know, I love him like a brother, and I love him more than you do. You're selfish. You're an enabler. He starts going off on her. Yep. And of course, it is. She up goes with, to kick him in the nuts. With her slapping him. No, she slaps him in the face first. And he, you know, drops his mic and throws the mic down and gets all angry in her face. And, <clears throat> you know, and then of course, then she goes and she gives him like a gut kick, like she was going to do a stunner. And as soon as she does that, she gut kicks him and he RKOs her. I thought she was going for the nuts. Yeah, she kicked him right in the gut. Gut checked him. Yeah, like you said, it was like a stone cold, like she Gut. was going to do a stunner. That's what I thought she was going for at first. So, right on, right on. So there's that, you know, and, and there's going to be a retaliation go. from Edge, you know it. Oh, yeah. At some point. Oh, but yeah. Will it come from Edge first? Or I keep hearing rumors. Even Christian. Christian's Christian! Out, Christian coming out to confront. That's bad. My voice is um, really bad right now. Orton, and then Orton taking Christian out, and then Edge, yeah. Edge comes out. So you know what? Yeah, who knows? We'll, we shall see. Only time will tell. You know, and a lot of people forget Christian has history with Randy Orton too. Yeah, yeah. They've had some good matches. So we'll see. Keep an eye out. Keep right. on developments. Well, let's get on so, down to the Wednesday. Game. Yeah, Wednesday we got NXT All right. action. NXT action. The main theme for the night, they had two major steel, steel cage, cage co-main event match. matches. I mean, you had Dakota Kai versus Tegan Knox, which Dakota Kai was You're with the assistance of an outside interference with Gonzalez, correct? Yeah, yeah. Gonzalez pinned Tegan Knox between the door and the cage itself, so that Miss Kai could escape. So, so she won that matchup. So that feud's uh, still going. Yep, yep. Then uh, here's a. We'll go ahead. We had the stuff uh, you saw. Keith Lee came out at one point, you know, and then Cameron Grimes came out. Right. Talking about how he should be uh, getting a shot, shot at that at the uh, North American that North American title. Hey. So, but Dijakovic also wants the shot, so. I, I smell possibly a triple threat happening. I do too. So. I do too. It'll be good. It will be good. Mm -hmm. uh, what the? I believe the. Uh, I believe the. Uh, um, the Broserweights got attacked too, didn't they? By the young mistaken? grizzled vets. Grizzled young vets. Or grizzled young vets. I said it wrong. Didn't yeah. I? Yeah. You had it all discombobulated. Grizzled Young Vets. So, I don't even get credit for that. That's bad. Yeah. The Grizzled Young I, Vets, let it be known that... Uh, I said their name wrong. They want those titles that they hold around their waists. So. Oh, you're explaining the thing. Yeah. Oh, I was off. Sorry. I thought we were talking. Explaining what thing? You were explaining what happened. I thought you were saying... What the hell are you talking about? I have Joey? no idea, man. You're out of your element. You're out of your element, Donnie. Your name is Joey. Joey. So no, anyways. Gosh, we should do that one. NXT. Uh, we yes. Had, uh, what else we had going on in NXT? Well, I mean. Velveteen Dream, Robin Extraordinary Strong. Uh, well, and, and, that, and. That feud still the, continuing. The match was amazing, but. <laughs> Velveteen Dream at one point of the match 
near the end, decided to shove Roderick Strong out of the cage. Which made Roderick Strong the winner, which would make no sense. Why would you do that? Well, Adam Cole was in the ring. Velveteen Dream shut the cage door and locked himself in there with him and Adam Cole. To kind of, I think Velveteen's moving up the pike. Yeah. I think it's time. Yeah, well, he would have the North American title for a while. You That's what I'm decided. saying. It's time. I'm going to set my sights on something bigger. You know bigger what? and better. More power to you. Greener pastures. That's it, man. Adam Cole, though, by the way, man, great talent. Yeah, those guys, I, the I, undisputed guys. I love guys, it. I love know, it. Honestly, I hope they I keep them uh, together when they go to the main, or to, if they go to SmackDown or Raw. But right now, because NXT is a main brand. <clears throat> so that could just be an NXT thing and then yeah. maybe during the draft they you know but anywho the the, the two the, the two tag team guys um uh, Kylo Kylo and Bobby Fish Kylo was it Kylo Riley and Bobby Fish Kylo Riley and Bobby Fish yeah um yes the undisputed tag team them not so much, but I see Roderick Strong and Adam Cole. I see them going to Raw and or SmackDown, or you know, oh, I don't yeah. know that they would send them both to the same show, or they would send them one to one, you know, one to the other. Oh yeah, dude, split them, let them shine on their own, you know. Yeah. So. Well, I know you're more partial to NXT on Wednesday. What else do we have that happen in NXT? I'm not really sure. Hmm. We, uh... Trying to see that, yeah. No, I think there was really nothing too much uh, more of note that happened on NXT. You know, nothing that really jumps out, so... Nothing that just catches you. Of course, so let's go on to AEW. We did have some... That's the one I'm excited to talk about tonight, about. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Lots of uh, interesting yes. little juicy bits. Well, all I'm going to say is NWA no longer has one Colt Cabana because Colt Cabana apparently has signed with AEW. Yep, made his debut. That's it. So he is now on a major televised Yep, they show. started the show off with Colt Cabana. Good for he him. He tagged up with SCU. Um... To Gold Scorpio, Christopher Daniels, and uh, Kazarian, they took on Dark Order. And uh, entertaining match, eight man tag. It was good. And uh, of course, SCU and Cabana got the victory. So. And um, I just want to. This was my favorite part of the show. A legend comes back that night. Yeah. Oh, man. Do you want to explain it? I think you could do a good job at that because it was cool. I honestly like it when they can still use legends. Not oh, well, we also, before we get to that part, too, we also had the the Oboxley come out giving give a cut in the promo. Oh, well, that's true. About winning the title. And Jericho comes out and, you know, Telling him basically, I don't need to have a, you know, I don't need that title to be Le Champion. But, um. He's Le Champion without it. You know, he basically, you know, just, you know, talk smack to Moxley, you know, but you don't deserve it. You, you know, you suck. You know, you just, the, the Moxley era sucks ass and all this stuff. And <clears> he <throat> told how uh, you've turned. The inner circle into a hit squad. Now we're going to be coming for you. And so there was going to be a tag match later that night. It was it was going to be Moxley and Darby Allen taking on Jericho and Sammy Guevara. And Jericho told Moxley, he said, you know, he says, just remember, I always have a plan, and you're not as smart as you think you are. You know, you're not going to walk out. You know, of of uh, you're not gonna walk out of here 
on your own, to, on your own two feet. You know, you're not going to leave the city of your own volition. They're going to carry you out. And he says, and I'm so sure of it that if you don't have, you know, if, if, if you walk out of here on your own feet, on your own two feet, he says, I'll take, a I'll take a 30 day leave of absence. He's like, hell, I'll take a 60 day leave there of you absence. Go. There you go. So that was a stipulation. If, if Moxley didn't have to be carried off out of the arena, um, then Jericho was going to take a 60 day leave of absence. So that was, that was set up. That was, that, that was actually how the show started. And then they went to the tag match. Yep. with Colt Cabana next. So that, of course, was set up for the main event. But leading up to the main event, we had some other, you know, interesting goings on. Jake the Snake promo. Like that one there, yes. Starts out Cody Rhodes coming out. Yep. You know, kind of cutting a promo. Cutting a good promo, too. Now, you know, mind about, you. About losing the match to like MJF. MJF. And, yeah. You know, just going on about that. You just, you know, MJF, the other, is he going to be put in that top tier category who knows yeah, I mean, kind of looks like it I mean they might try to give him a push like we'll he see. might be the ultimate heel we'll see. Jericho but uh of course some music kicks up that sounds sort of similar to something that's like why from is, the 80s is that kind of kept, is, is that there's something about that that seems familiar it wasn't quite the same but it was a similar rest Similar sound in peace. And next thing you know, out comes strolling Jake the Snake Roberts. That's right, the Jake the Snake Roberts. And he begins to rip a, a weird haircut. Rip a wicked promo. The dude's still great on the mic. He still man. got it, man. That was what and, made And him. he just he <laughs> just sounds like he means he's still got that raspy. Uh, yeah, Jake you know, and he just—he's kind of when he says something, it's like you kind of like believe him, just, you know? It's yeah. like I just, yeah, yeah, he's dude, he's kind of—I know he's telling the truth. But man. here's the thing, and, and he basically he tells Cody, yo, shut up! I'm tired of listening to you whine and bitch. Bitch, he you literally know, you're said talking that. about you know, you let that little punk son of a bitch get in your head, you know? It's, yeah, it's just. You know, you got your ass whipped. Just accept it. You know, deal with it. You know, you got your ass kicked. And I never whined and complained about, you know, getting my ass whipped, you know, and this and that. And, and then he tells them, you know, he's like, I'm not here to, uh, I'm not here to, or, or no, he calls him. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, no, I'm sorry. Like, oh, hail Caesar, he tells them. Because of his profession. <coughs> in the you know, yeah, exactly. You know, he's, he's, being he's running me with. With Khan. Yeah, and I like how he tells them. Uh, um, he says, "I'm not here to, I'm not here to, to, what? He, I'm not here to boast you or boost you. I'm here to slay you. To slay you. you that know, is talks what about you know, my. I have a client. My client. That he never says who the client is. He's alluding to someone that's coming. That but he basically something with dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be dark or whatever, but. Well, obviously, no. Jake the Snake is his client. So he, he, he's talking about someone that's coming that Jake the Snake is going to be managing. controlling, managing, whatever, you know, which could be very interesting. And I, for one, think it is one Brody Lee, a.k.a. Luke Harper. From the Mont Because they, they did, in, in March, um, sometime here in March was when his uh, uh, ninety day clause I comes to an him, end. I could see him and Moxley having a few. So I think that's who's gonna be. But he he just he begins to just keeps going, and it's just it's great. He's telling him, "I'm gonna be ringside out here." He says, "You can bring that old one trick pony, Arn Anderson, if you want to." Damn. So I was like, "Whoa, man! Shots fired!" Damn. Jake the Snake, I'm talking straight my heart. So of course now you know there's going to be, there's going to be a, a, that that confrontation between those two legends. That's it. I mean, man. think about it, man. That's for us old schoolers, man. That's like exciting shit. It's like what? Jake the Snake and Art Anderson are going to you know Dude, I hope he brings. Space, the, I man. hope that's, he brings the snake. That man. would be so. It'd just be so. He's awesome, got to bring man. the snake with him. But uh, and let this guy use it. 
my favorite line, the favorite thing that he said to Cody before uh, before he walked, you know, leaves the ring, is he tells him, he says, a wise man once told me, never turn your back on someone you respect or someone that you're or someone you're afraid of. And he immediately turns his back to Cody, tosses the microphone back over his shoulder. That was awesome, dude. Cody caught it. I mean, I mean, never. They, you know, he was told to never turn his back on someone he respects or someone he's afraid of. So he just and showed he he's immediately not turns of his back. Yeah, basically proves. I shows you. I have no respect for you, and I have no fear of you. I mean, that was just. And that really, was, that was it, it. Was man, it was good. It was it was good. It was like <coughs> the old Jake the Snake man. His psychology though for wrestling is what made him. Yeah, he's got the brain for it. Exactly. So that's I think so, it could be great. And stick someone it's like it's great. Someone like Luke Harper though, right? Luke Harper is a very he's he's a good you know he's a good in ring competitor, you know, and he's got the, he's got the size. I'm really curious to see what his new look is going to be because I'm sure well, you know they'll probably do I'm it sure up it's going to be different, completely yeah. different from what he was in WWE. I'm wondering is he going to have a beard? Is he going to be clean shaven? Is he going to have a different type of beard? Is he going to be handlebar mustache? You know, goatee? What you know? Oh wait a minute, dude, dude. You know what we forgot to do? Go ahead and take this time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? And then after you do that, click that oh, subscribe, subscribe button. Oh, to subscribe, yeah. Damn. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. All right. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe. subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe. Tap that bell icon. Yep. So you, uh, you don't miss any new new content that we uh, You get all the notifications. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. It's a notification and, bell. And give the video a thumbs up. You please. Know? Please, if you like it. Hey, you know what? Hey, by all means, if you didn't like it, you thought it was crap, give it a thumbs down. At least it's something. It's something. We know. We'd be like, oh, no, man. Someone. Well, no, we don't want thumbs down, though. Yeah, but you know what? If you didn't enjoy it, let us know, and we'll fix it. You know, because we'd be like, oh, man, dude, Nancy yeah. from Nantucket didn't like it. Dude. She, got, she was upset by something. I like how you went with we Nancy from to, Nantucket. Uh, we, need to, we need to make changes to keep everyone happy so we don't get another thumbs down. That's so, right. I mean, we don't want them, but if that's how you feel, then give it to us. We can take it. Well, I can take it. He's sensitive. Oh. Oh, sensitive. Get the. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Apparently, there's a bomb somewhere I have to go disarm. So. I'll get to it later. It's a long timer. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, AEW. Jake the Snake. Yeah, cut. he walks out. So. We shall see. This is my prediction. Like I said, I'm saying I I think that the person he's talking about is is uh, going to be Luke Harper, uh, and he's going to be under the name Brody Lee because he copyrighted that name after he left WWE. He copyrighted the name Brody Lee. Was that who he was? He, when he went by Brody Lee at, at somewhere else at another point in time in his career. So that might have been maybe that might have been when he was on the indie scene. Yeah. So, so and the AEW ends with the tag match between Moxley and uh, Darby, Allen Darby Allen versus against Jericho, Jericho and Guevara. Guevara. And which they win. The Inner Circle, Inner Circle end up winning. Um, Moxley's you know he's fighting he's fighting and then the, the numbers just become too much and they sort of beat him all the way up the rampway to the stage Fuck where you. then Bart they take and. Uh, Power bombs him off the stage. Jake, Jake Hager power bombs him off the stage yep. uh, to a table. You notice ever since now that he wrestled, though, now he's getting more involved finally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think it had something to do with a contract or whatever, too, that he was still under for the. Uh, well, he was still doing MMA. Right, exactly. So he wasn't, he couldn't, he wasn't permitted to wrestle. Right. Yeah, he can make appearances or whatnot, but... Uh, you know what, though, dude? I'm glad these guys are able to do it on a different platform now. So. I hope AEW stays for a long time. Yeah. So I was stoked to talk about AEW tonight, man. Oh, man. Speaking about stoked, um, you excited for the uh, the upcoming ARW show we're going to here? In Why, yes, Bill. Here in a few weeks? Yes, I am. April 2nd. 
on Thursday. Your boys, Big Shot Joe and Captain Bill, are going to be VIP. We're going to be rolling VIP. We're going to meet the stars. The that ARW. Includes, hey, that includes front row, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's make sure. That's VIP front row. So, meet and greet. We're going to meet. Prime time. Yes, that money. Prime time money. money. Yeah, money. yeah. All uh, right. Elijah. Uh, Elijah Burke, the Pope. He's going to be there. Of course, Shane Douglas is going to be back. Raven's going to be back. Gangrel. Gangrel's going to be there. I'm kind of stoked about meeting Gangrel. And then, of course, the ARW stars. You got... West uh, Briscoe. West Briscoe. And Shannon and Chuckles Moore. Chuckles and Shannon Moore. Chuckles. And Chico Adams. And Chico Adams. And Zach Monstar. Zach Monstar. Vertigo. C.J. O'Doyle. C.J. O'Doyle. Yeah, the, the knockout champ. Uh, uh, Gia Roman. Gia Roman, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Destiny, the knockout. Destiny, yeah. Or, um, the bombshell champion. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. 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 Uh, We're excited. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm down for it. The brothers in arms are defending the tag titles against uh, Primetime. Oh, uh, buddy. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It is. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Definitely. So we'll talk more about it, but it's the Shamrock Brawl for uh, can be taking place going down in Cocoa, Florida, April second, Space Coast Convention Center. So we'll be there. Might be something you want to check out if you're local. So absolutely. Well, folks, we pretty much covered everything. We talked about what we want to talk about. So you know. Well, we don't want to take up too much more of your time. So so. You know, we just want to. I feel like mention a few things here. I feel like we forgot somebody. Much. Ask much what he thought, man. We we've been you know we were so selfish. True. We did not let our guest star much in. Yeah. Uh, what what do you think about the? What do you think? What's your take on the fiend and Cena? Yeah. That, that's a good point. Who's gonna make? Yeah, yeah. Right on. I see. How about uh, how about Goldberg and uh, Reigns? <laughs> oh, I know, I know you have. I know you have. You, you've taken several spears from Goldberg back in your WCW days. Yeah, they are no joke. I'm, I'm sure of it. I mean, I don't know, but I've always just assumed. Yeah. Ah, true. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. As he, well, you know. Rest in peace, Mach. As he says, yeah. Oh, wow, that just went dark. Thanks. What? Good day. What do you say, there, Benoit? Yeah. Oh, my God. Why would you say yeah. that? Talk about the deceased wrestlers that we have hanging on our wall. Anyhow. Anyways. Be sure to... As we said, subscribe, bell icon, give us a thumbs up, and also check out uh, check out our, our other content on the channel. Yeah, like uh, Captain Bill and Big Shot Joe. Watch a Watch movie. Watch a movie. Yeah, absolutely. Our last we one we our did. Movie review. Yeah, we just uploaded one for you wrestling fans. Yes, the name of the Bill came song, across this. Girl on, on the third floor. Yeah, starring one Phil C M Punk Brooks in his. Acting debut, and you know what? It's a classic, a classic. Uh, you it know, was entertaining. A horror story. You know, it was. It was. It, was, it, was, it, it was looked like it was an independent film. It was enjoyable. It was good. It was know, good. And, uh, you know, and it uh, had a nice, creepy feel to it. You know, and but if C. A. Punk scares. was going to be in a movie, but, uh, yeah, check out, check out the video where we give the review on it. Yeah, man, don't yeah, let us give you away too much. More. Yeah. Check it out. Check the girl it out. on the third floor. And then check back. We got many other ones. Dirty Love. Uh, you know, uh, the Banana Splits movie. The Gallows. The Gallows 2. Ooh. Uh, uh, Chud. 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 Exactly. Bill always so, chuckles when you say Chud. So, uh, yeah, check it all out. Check chud. it all out. And as we not have saying. keep keep talking about it, we keep saying, but we are not haven't got to do it yet. What's that? We got a challenge. We got a we got Bean a challenge. Freaking boozle. Bean boozle. We, it's gonna happen. We're talking it, but we're not bringing it. We're, we're gonna have our buddy would, Shane Hood with ashamed. us. The Rock would be ashamed. So we gotta make that happen very soon. 
very soon. Wait, I'm talking within the next, within, within two weeks. From the day you watch this video here. of to the, of, of of this. That's right. To, Today's the sixth. It is. It is March sixth. It is now the sixth. Yes. So by 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 the by the sixteenth. So um. Ten days. Do you want to tell them about our next guest host next week? Oh, I. You know what? I was gonna leave. It, I was gonna leave it a surprise, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna let you guys know. Next week, live in the studio, special guest, none other than the possibly. Possibly one of the greatest teams, the greatest duos ever. Bert and Ernie, right here in the studio. And you name this Sesame Street. <laughs> First rule of Sesame Street is we don't talk about don't Sesame talk about Street. <laughs> They're gonna give us the ins and outs. Oh God! On the mean streets of Sesame. Of the Sesame Street. Yeah. So, look, uh, look, look for that. Yeah, man. Absolutely. All right, folks. Three, two, one. Screw throwdown. Yes, it has. It's been real. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. No, I'm just kidding, man. It's I've always real fun. It's always real fun. I enjoy it. I like, I like our fans. I'm sorry for my attitude. I like our outburst, fans. I, I do. It's you that I dislike sometimes, but our fans I love. I love our fans too, man. Still my buddy though. He is irritating. He's still my dog. My dog. My <laughs> dog. I run my folks. <laughs> Till next time. We Take out. care. And each other. Stay classy, San Diego.